Hey, and welcome to my channel. This is Way in Day and What I Ate. But first, we're going to meet my special guest. If you've never met her, this is Flair, and she's a bearded dragon. You can see she she's like her mama. She's a little, I call her fatty, fatty, bo baddie. <laughs> she's on here to meet someone special, and that is Jimmy. Jimmy is our newest YouTuber. That is Sandy's son over at Let's Get Fit with Sandy. Listen, us girls created a monster. He started doing the tags with her, and now he loves doing the tags with her. And we love watching you, Jimmy, because you're just, you're a hoot. Anyway, he does not like lizards. <laughs> and one of the questions on the tag was, I think, would you rather have a lizard or a bird? Apparently, he don't like birds either, but he really does not like lizards. He gets one of these, ooh, <laughs> kind of situations with it and so sandy's like on one of your videos because he has a short attention span he won't watch the whole thing bring her in on the beginning so here she is it, she just woke up so she, you can see she's kind of a little dark under there they'll get really black if they get mad they'll give you the the big black beard and that means they're they're just not happy about something but you can see she's not a morning person and i just woke her up so I'm going to let her sit up here, let her climb wherever she wants to climb. And um, in January, she's going to be, she's going to be 10. I will have had her nine years. The vet estimates she was a year old when I got her. So I call January her birthday because I got her in uh, January of 2012. She was a rescue in that a um, questionable zoo listen had her it, it was at repticon he had had a uh, a booth set up and they had different you know little animals for the kids to come see snakes and scorpions i mean all kind of little things they had her in a little plastic I, i've done a whole video on her but i'll just give you a quick rundown they had her in a little plastic what i call um cricket keeper i think maybe they're called critter keepers i don't know but that's what i keep crickets in little plastic clear thing with the the lid with the you know holes in the top every now and then they would take her out and put her in one of those green buckets that does the flipping lid with a lamp attached to it okay i didn't know anything about bearded dragons when i got her i just fell in love the minute i saw her i fell in love with her and i picked her up and she was ice cold did not know she was not supposed to be ice cold she's really really cold now because I let her sleep in her favorite spot on the back of my chair. Yes, Jimmy. She sleeps on the back of my recliner with me. And she has her own little blankie that she covers up with. <laughs> anyway, it was a two-day event. So the first day, I kept coming over there, holding her, holding her, holding her. The second day, we get we, we go. And the, the first thing I did, I made a beeline to her. I'm like... I love this dragon. The girl, the, the boy, there was a boy and a girl running it. And I have since found out, you know, they were not, um, they did not practice good husbandry on their animals. Let's just say that. He admitted to me the only reason he had her was because the man that had her wanted to get rid of her. And this guy just wanted her set up. He just wanted her tank and lights and that kind of thing. She was a throwaway. She was just in their little zoo. Just, okay, here, look. Here's a bearded dragon, you know. So the girl tells me, I come over there, and um, my son was with me that day. And she said, well, he said you can have her for any donation to our zoo because they were trying to start up uh, like a, a free stand, like they would go to schools, they would take their things to schools, and they were trying to set up a zoo that you could actually come to, and so they were taking donations. He, she said, he said, you can have her for any donation. I said, well, I don't have any money. I didn't, I didn't even have so much as a penny on me. I said, I don't have any money. She said, he said, any. She, she emphasized the word any, and RJ goes, well, I got ten dollars, and she said, he said any. So RJ plopped $10 in the jar, and I got my baby. <laughs> so I've had her for nine years, 
She's fixing to be 10. I don't like to think about it, but their lifespan is like 8 to 10 years. So she's a really, really little old lady. So she's not active. She she doesn't glass dance. That's when they go back and forth. If you see them like in the pet store, they're going back and forth, rubbing their face on the glass and everything. They're glass dancing. She doesn't do any of that. She she doesn't run back and forth on her tank. She comes down. She she has a 55 gallon is a fish tank, but I have it set up for her. And she has her hot end and her cold end. Her hot end is where she can get up on her thing I have built up in her um, lamp. And when she's hungry, she comes down to the cold end and she stands. If she's not down there, don't try to feed her because she's not going to eat. <laughs> they are very, very stubborn creatures. They're very stubborn. But you can see she's just as chill as chill could be. Just, honey, can you not get a hold of it? My skin is not um, grabby. I should have put on a different shirt. Give her something to grab, too. Um, she's so cold. i got to get her under a lamp. Um... So, yeah, that, that's the, the quick story of me and my lizard. So, Jimmy, here you go. She's not scary. She's not slimy. She's not, she, she feels like, you can't hear it, but she feels kind of like a plastic, I say a plastic toy. You know, the little toy dinosaurs and whatnot the kids have. That's kind of what she feels like. And these little frills on her, I don't know if you can see. See the little frills? Now, they're sticky. They don't sticky like a pen, but, like, last night she was laying on me sleeping a little bit before I put her on the chair. And I had to move her because she was just <laughs> itching me to death. <laughs> but, yeah, she's just like a little plastic toy. So, next time, if there's a Repticon that comes in your area or if you go to the pet store, just ask to touch a lizard. Just tell them you want to touch a bearded dragon. She's not going to bite you. They're not going to lick you. That, well, they, they will lick out at you like getting a, a scent kind of getting a scent for something new but they're not going to bite you they're not going to chase you they're not going to do any of that unless you got some rogue crazy lizard so anyway there you go jimmy there is flair and thank you for the tag almost tracy beat you to it so maybe we'll get it another day now let's jump into our way in let me get my book our way in and what i ate so, we, oh, she's, <laughs> she's slidey. Come on, girl. Come on. There you go. She's sliding. I don't know if y'all can hear her. She is sliding. She, she's just not awake. She, she's not with it. She hadn't had her coffee yet. <laughs> so, we talked last week about how the week before I considered that a fluke. And so, last week, with that fluke having jumped down so low, it showed that I lost like, uh, um, gained like eight point something pounds. And I just tracked it. I, I said no, I didn't gain that much weight because the week before was not that low. It just, the scales were just, did something wonky. So, anyway, from last week's weigh in, I, what do you think? Lost 1.6 pounds. Boy, it was close. I didn't know. But with my Friday and Saturday shenanigans, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I will say, we'll talk about what I ate in a minute. I'm 313.5, lost 1.6, and that puts me at 63.6. So the fluke gave me my 70 pound mark, which I was excited for, but it took me back down. I, I'm still excited at 63 pounds. I mean, come on, that's 63 pounds. 63 pounds. I have looked at some of my older videos and oh my gosh. You know how you don't know you look as big as you look until you look back on yourself? Not when you're standing there looking in the mirror. You don't see it. You just don't see it. And then like you lose some weight and you look back at some pictures and you're like, oh, holy crap, I was huge. <laughs> Still am, but not like that. So 63 pounds is nothing to sneeze at. I'm, I'm real, I'm thrilled with that. Now, what I ate, this was on Tuesday, and I told you I went to purple, because purple is very good with the Mediterranean diet for all the grains you have to eat, because all the grains are zero on purple. Okay, so Tuesday, I had 22 of my 25 points, because you get less points on purple. For breakfast, I had my pumpkin pistachio overnight oatmeal, 
And then lunch, I had my quinoa chili, and I put that tablespoon of peanut butter in there. I'm telling you, genius, genius. It, it takes that heat down, so I've been able to eat it. And 11 of the whole wheat, wheat thin, all the wheat thins, um, crackers. Then I had snacks in between lunch and supper. I had a banana. I had a plain old piece of pumpkin toast. I didn't put nothing on it, that pumpkin seeded bread. And 14 olives. <laughs> I didn't know how many points the olives were. I just pulled them out, put them in a little bowl, turned out to be 14. I don't write the points down in my book, so I don't know how much they were. 22 or 25, that's what I did. And then supper was um, chicken. I made, I just really screwed up supper. I was going to make crock pot cashew chicken. Tuesday, I ended up going on a, a road trip to a Dollar Tree about... Mm, 35 minutes away, 40 minutes, I don't know. And I forgot to put my chicken in the crock pot before I left. So I got home, I had to put it in there and crank it up on high. Well, I was tired. I didn't feel like cutting my chicken into pieces. So I didn't do that. I just put in my two $22 chicken breasts. Yes, that's what I cooked on Tuesday was my $22 chicken breast. And if you didn't see my haul, I did get them for free because... I called and complained. <laughs> um, so I made that. Baby girl. Here. Get on up there. Get on up there. And I'm sorry. You can see my rubber's ear. Um, when the chicken got through. Of course it wasn't as flavorful. Because I didn't cut it up. I had a bag of broccoli. That I forgot to make some other day. So I just threw it in the crock pot. Figured it would steam, and it did. It, it worked perfect. I didn't have to cook it separately. It was fresh broccoli. But we sat down to eat, and I didn't even put the cashews in it. So there was no cashew chicken. It was bland. It, <laughs> it was boring. So all I did was take out half a, of a chicken breast. I didn't drag no sauce out on it. You know, a little bit I put in my rice. I had some brown rice. And what was that? Yeah, brown rice. And um, I just give it a point. I just give it a point for the little bit of sauce I put on there because it was just liquidy. I didn't thicken it. I didn't do nothing. I just didn't mess with it. So it was pitiful. But it filled the crawl. And then we had um, okra. I use, It's the frozen okra, cut okra. I put it in the oven, and it roasted up real good, and, and I just didn't have time nor inclination to heat up my oven. So I threw it in the air fryer and it worked wonderfully. I mean, it took um, like two sets of 15 minutes to get it down to where it was not um, wet and soggy and slimy. And Hold on. Alexa, stop. Sorry about that. Alexa, um... She probably just heard me. <laughs> so it, it was like a half an hour, but that was fine because I didn't have to babysit it. And then we had some of the leftover, well, the ones I prepped, the turnips and the radishes. I pulled them out. We had some of those. And then later on that night, I was wanting some popcorn, so I had my popcorn. Then yesterday, I had 33 of my 25 points, which I don't mind if I use them Um it put me in the negative because of my Friday and Saturday, but I don't really know how much is a negative because part of that, I don't know if it calculated over how it goes from blue and then, you know, it got stuck on green and then to purple. At any rate, my daily points, I had 33 of 25. For breakfast, I had one of the chocolate coconut almond overnight oatmeal. Then lunch, I had my quinoa chili and 11 more of the um, wheat thins. I forgot to write down the peanut butter, but I did track it. I had a tablespoon of the peanut butter. And then here's my snacks. See, when I get up and I eat really early, I eat lunch really early. So then I have plenty of time for snacking between lunch and supper. Because I cannot eat lunch at 11 or 11.30 and then not snack until 7 or 7.30 at night. I just can't do it. If you can, more power to you. But I cannot. Plus, with all the food this diet wants you to eat, I am not, and David is not eating near the quantity of food they tell you to eat. 
we were talking about this yesterday. There's not enough time in the day to eat seven to nine servings of fruits and vegetables and God knows how many servings of whole grains and nuts and seeds. You just can't do it. You'll be eating all day long. So anyway, I snacked on an energy ball, one of those pumpkin pistachio energy balls. I had hummus and pita chips. I got the um, pita chips from Trader Joe's. You'll see my haul tomorrow. I'll tell you about Trader Tell you about Trader Joe's in a minute. <laughs> Me and David went together, <laughs> and uh, they were as close to whole grain as I think I could get, so I just got them. I think I even said on the video, "I'm not perfect, and I'm not gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna be Miss Mediterranean poster child." Then um, uh, another plain piece of pumpkin bread. I didn't even toast it. I was taking it out and dividing it out and putting it in little bags to put in the freezer because I wasn't gonna eat the whole loaf. And my other loaf that I got at Trader Joe's, I was separating it. And the the heel, I don't normally like the heel, but it was just like a pumpkin bread heel. And I just stood there and ate that. And supper, I had my salmon. Not my salmon patties, but my salmon. I just sauteed it in the pan with some olive oil and some seasoning on it. And it was fine. I mean, I survived. And just all kind of veggies we had. Um... Just dibs and dabs. We still had some turnips and radishes. And then I made, um, what did I make? Because I just put salmon and veggies because it was just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I made, um, well, I know I had a sweet potato for um, dessert, I guess you'd say. I should have wrote them out, but now I don't forgot. <laughs> they were all zero point veggies. I can tell you that much. I was just lazy when I wrote this since I didn't have to. Um, I don't even know if I tracked the, the I, I don't, pretty sure I didn't track the vegetables. I've been doing good about tracking my zero point foods. I just didn't know. So the, anyway, that's what I had for the past um, two days. Now, let me tell you when we were in Trader Joe's. He wanted to go because he wanted some of those vegetable nests. And they're not necessarily on our um, eating plan. But you know what? Everything ain't going to be. Anyway, anyway, he was in rare form. We were in there. We were walking around. And we got up to the aisle where, like, the tuna and salmon and all that is. And I'm like, oh, they're sardines. I said, they say sardines are so Good for you. Sardines are supposed to be so healthy. He said, I'll just go to the grave. Oh, he, he said, I'll be in my grave. I'm like, what? He goes, yeah. He goes, I'll go to the grave before I eat a sardine. I'm like, you are kidding me. He goes, no, nice knowing you. <laughs> I'm like, dude, dude. He's like, nope, 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 no way in the world. Now I was like, well, I just watched Rachel Ray. She liked to eat sardine sandwiches ever since she's a little girl. But I ate sardines at home when my mama's, my brother's daddy lived with us. Um, he ate sardines and I ate sardines and crackers with him, which I don't know that I'd, I would eat them today, but I'm tempted to get one and try it just to see. I am. I'm, temp I'm tempted to get one. I know they sell them at the Dollar Tree, but I don't know if those would be... Um, as good as like ones from the store, I don't know. Cause I eat food from the Dollar Tree, but I don't know if something like a canned fish, would it be like the lesser quality fish and it would be fishier fish or I don't know about that. But anyway, I just thought I'd let you know. My husband said he would rather go to the grave than eat a, sar <laughs> than eat a sardine. It was something else he, he did in, in that store. I'm like, you are in rare form. So anyway, we had we had a good time. Um, we hadn't been to Trader Joe's. I hadn't been in since the beginning of the pandemic, and he hadn't been in probably year, year and a half. I don't even think he's been, but one time his whole life, honestly. So he found a couple things he wanted to try, and um, we got things, you know, for our suppers. Now this one I want to ask. This yeah, I was going to ask you. I also have coming up tomorrow uh, Super G International Market hall i went there wednesday and it's a good little jump away from the house i wish it was closer because i would go more often um but i stocked up on the 
the odd grains. I call them odd because they're things we've never had. Buckwheat. Um, we've had barley in soup before, but never have cooked it. Millet. Um, did I say buckwheat, barley, millet, bulgur. We've not had these things. I got some brown rice pasta. I got some soba noodles. If we're, if we're going to have to eat the grains, I told him we can't live on brown rice every day. And if you have to eat grains every day, we've got to mix it up. Here's my question to you. These are new to me. You saw me make the queen, the queen wall. You saw me make the queen wall in my meal prep. Queen wall. So you saw how easy that was in the Instant Pot. Oh, that, it was a breeze. That was the ticket. That was the way to go if you have an Instant Pot is to cook your quinoa in there. Well, some of these other ones I have found Instant Pot recipes and some just regular stovetop. I'm curious to know if you would be interested in seeing how you make them. Maybe you don't eat those grains either and it, it might make you feel better to see that they're, because, listen, they intimidate me. Rice intimidates me. <laughs> if I didn't have that little rice cooker, forget about it. That little dash mini rice cooker. I'm just, I just, rice is just my nemesis. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even make it right in the instant pot. It comes out a mess. So anyway, if you'd like to see how I make them, just to kind of give you an idea that it might be something you want to try, maybe some new something you want to put in your diet because they're super duper healthy. Um, let me know down below and I'll just might do a quick little video. Of, you know, here's how you do it. So anyway, I think that'll do it for me today. I don't know of anything else I have to tell you. She is just <laughs> scratching my neck. I don't know if I have anything else to tell you or not. Um, I did get all my dirty Santa gifts bought and wrapped. I finished wrapping them this morning and Sebastian will be down next week. He actually will be here the day I go get my injection, so I won't get to see him the first day he's here, and that bums me out. So I'm going to tell RJ, I hope he don't have to work the next day. If he does, he's just going to have to wake up and bring him. I've got gifts, because his birthday is the 17th, so he's going to have to come see me that day. And I have gifts for him to open as soon as he gets here, because he's only going to be here two weeks this time. So he's got to have time to play with his toys but then he's got to have gifts open on Christmas when the rest of us are opening and doing our things. So I have gifts in front of the tree, which are like all his, and gifts in the back of the tree, which are half his. So that's uh, that's how our Christmas is going so far. And um, I think that's all. I think that's all. So, Jimmy, I know you're not watching this late in the... <laughs> This late in the game, but I hope you enjoyed meeting Flair. And I will see y'all in my next video, which will be tomorrow for my meal plan and my grocery hauls.